What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Let's get into the WWE Extreme Rules review and results, guys. It's going to be a good late night show for you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. The first match we all got to talk about that, in my opinion, was the match of the night. We saw the Fatal 4-Way for the Intercontinental title. Sami Zayn, Cesaro, The Miz. And I forgot who the one. It was the Fatal 4-Way, man, for the Intercontinental title, man. This match was amazing. This match was awesome. This could be possibly... This is definitely hands down the match of the night. Now, a lot of people say this could be match of the year. I mean, what says all these guys put on a great show. All these talents, these superstars, man, they did a phenomenal job. Whether you didn't like them, whether you didn't like the outcome of The Miz winning, okay? I'm kind of mad that The Miz won, okay? But I'm not mad because, I'm not that mad because the match was phenomenal. They did such a good job, and in my opinion, it should have been the first match of the night. Now, Cesaro, man, kept doing the uppercuts, man, around the four corners. That was cool. People were saying, this is awesome. Um, it was just, the stuff they did was crazy, man. You know, Cesaro was going on. Cesaro performed good tonight. I was impressed by Cesaro, man, with that tape he has. He performed good tonight, okay? The fans were doing good. The crowd was loving it. You know, in my opinion, I got to say the crowd sucked tonight. The crowd really wasn't that good. You know, and then what Kevin Owens did, doing the, going in the four corners and doing like the thunderbot, the rolling thunder kind of thing, where he goes in the four corners, dude, that was cool. I mean, this match was good. Hands down, I, I really can't complain about this match. You know, they, I don't know why it was the second match, in my opinion. I don't know why... Not the second match, but, you know, the third or fourth. Somewhere's around there. That should have been the match of the night because it would have kicked off a good match to start the show. But they did it the opposite, and that's my problem. Why does WWE do things the opposite? You know, but Miz retains the title, man. You know, Miz did the stone, co the, the, his finisher outside the ring. Cesaro did the uppercut. He did the Cesaro swing. Kevin Owens did his move. They all did their finisher moves, man. Kickouts left and right. Just all these guys put on a good show. That's all I got to say. I don't got to say much about this, man. All I got to say, I am proud because this was a match I was looking forward to. This was the match I was enjoying. I enjoyed this match. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy this match? Okay. I had to talk about that, man, because it was definitely the match of the night. Now, I'm going to go, I want you guys to go on my Twitter account. Go follow me on Twitter because tonight on my Twitter poll, I'm going to leave a question for you guys and I want you to go vote. My Twitter will be in the description for you guys below. Do you guys think that the Intercontinental title match, the Fat of 4 way, do you think it's match of the year? Yes or no? Go vote right now. My Twitter, my my link to my Twitter guys will be in the description for you below. Let's go to the tag team match. The Von Villains versus the Usos. I didn't care for this match. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Von Villains, but the Von Villains, man, they perform good. They're a strong team. The Usos, I don't like those guys. I mean, they are over because they are. They're over with the crowd. Even though people boo him, they're over. Okay? But the match, in my opinion, really wasn't that good. Okay? Like I said, the crowd wasn't that good. You know, the Von Villains, they were they almost had the match. They almost won. They almost won and became the new WWE Tag Team titles. Now, I, I wanted them to win because I wanted to see something fresh, something new. Even if I'm not a fan of them or not, they still need, they should have won it. Because, in my opinion, it'd be something new, something fresh. You know, because the, the Usos, not the Usos, the New Day have been running the titles the whole entire time now since last year. It's time to see something different now. The fans want to see something different, you know. Then we go to Chris Jericho and Dean Ambrose. They actually use weapons in this match. I got to say, this match, really in my opinion, wasn't that good. I was, I was expecting this not to be a good match. But they were chanting CM Punk chants. 
in the show tonight. Okay, they were chanting the CM Punk. I heard CM Punk chants tonight, and CM Punk is not even the WWE. Probably because they, you know, they watch my show and they probably heard of me about reporting, you know, about CM Punk not done, you know, may not be going to, may not be fighting UFC. They may be going back to WWE and they heard about my show and that's why they chanted CM Punk chants tonight. Um, but we heard Seth Rollins chants in that match though. Chris Jericho, man, there was no, the fans were not enjoying this match. I didn't care about this match. I don't think the match was really that enjoyable to watch. But they did use weapons, which I was shocked about that. Um, the thumbtacks, that was cool. Dean Ambrose did good. He performed good tonight. Chris Jericho did good. I just think this this match wasn't really that good. Now, the first match was the Usos and the Luke Gallows. That match was boring. That match wasn't that good. I mean, Luke Gallows and them, they, they, they did good. I mean, the match just could have been a little bit better you know but Luke Owls and uh, Luke Owls and them won they won the match but this this the match wasn't that good at all um so they win Chris Jericho Dean Ambrose beats Chris Dean Ambrose beats Chris Jericho um Sami Zayn did good in the IC title match as well he did good too I was impressed by him man we have Kalisto and Rusev this match sucked now we just gotta wait till Cena to come back, and then he's gonna beat Rusev. But in my opinion, you know, Kalisto really doesn't des didn't really deserve to be the U.S. champion. In my opinion, he's a good performer. Don't get me wrong, he's a good performer, but he didn't deserve to be the the U.S. champion because he doesn't make that champion look like gold, like mean something. Rusev does because he gets heat off it. That's why you know it makes it makes more sense because he's gonna get heat off it. You know. Um, Natalia versus Charlotte. This match was, this match wasn't that good. Dana Brooke came out, which I was shocked and surprised to see that happen. Dana Brooke came out, but it all, you know, because Ric Flair couldn't come out. You know, that's why. It's all about distractions. So this, I did say, you know, this wasn't a setup, but looking in a perspective, it was a setup because Flair couldn't come down to the ring. You know, so Dana Brooke comes out and we thought it was Ric Flair, but it wasn't. It was Dana Brooke. To distract Natty, but Charlotte, but Charlotte wins the match. So, um, so the USO, so Carl Anderson, Dak Gallows won. Cle Rusev is the new champion. New Day retains her titles by cheating. Cesaro, uh, Miz retains his title. Chris Dean Ambrose beats Chris Jericho. Natalia. Charlotte beats Natalia and the Reigns versus AJ Styles, man. I didn't care for the Reigns and AJ Styles match. I wasn't really feeling it, man. You know, the crowd was chanting, Reigns sucks, you can't wrestle. Just all the words that we know about. Styles carried that whole entire match. And I hope this feud is done with, man. I mean, the, you know, Reigns and them going through the, all the tables broke. They were going out where they do the um, prediction things, you know, for WWE, ECW, not ECW, Extreme Rules. But AJ Styles carried the whole entire match. Reigns was just boring, man. He just didn't perform that good tonight. So, you guys let me know in the comments below. What did you think about Extreme Rules tonight? And what are you going to rate it? Because for me, I am going to give it... I'm going to be fair with WWE tonight. Surprisingly, I will be fair for you guys. I'm going to give this show... A 6.5 out of 10 stars. That's just being nice. <laughs> I'm just, just being nice, guys. But you, no, seriously, though, what do you guys think? What do you guys rate this show? I can't believe that Luke Gallows and them came out to destroy Roman Reigns. Um, you know, Styles and the, the Styles Clash, Reigns and the Spears, you know, all the finishers, Styles Clash and the Steel Chair. Usos came out to distract and beat up the Gallows and them. We thought Rollins was going to come out. That didn't happen. That didn't take place. But ladies and gentlemen, your comments, your opinions, and I'll see you on the next show. Subscribe.